In this video I will revisit iWarp, a standard filtering GIMP that allows you to stretch parts of the image. Now if I want to give this fellow here big muscles, I go to iWarp or Filters, Distorts, iWarp. Now this one's the Move function. If I move his muscles up a little, like so, and click OK, you'll see it also distorts the background as well. So I'll undo that, undo the history, undo iWarp. Now I'll make a selection using the magic scissors. Now I'm only going to use his muscles because he wants to be a muscle guy. So I'll only do use those. The magic scissors helps me to uh, select around what I need. I keep away from the fence line because that's where the giveaway is. Back underneath there, then back up here. And then just press enter and that makes the selection. Now I'll come over to the scissor mode and I click on this one here, add to the current selection, which allows me to move to the other side without switching that last selection off. So once again I'll come around his shirt, over his uh, supposedly tough muscles around his arm keep away from the fence because that's the part that will be distorted if and gives the uh, gives away the effect we want to press enter now I go to edit and copy I put that on the clipboard return to edit and paste it in there as a new layer a floating layer click that icon there and click it makes the new layer now that's the new layer now I go to uh, Filters, Distorts, Eye Warp. Now I've only got those parts to distort. So I go to the Move tool and just move that up and give our friend a nice big muscle. So we can put it on Facebook and show how he's been going well in the gym touch it up a little bit more that should do and click OK now you can see he's got his muscles without distorting the background and all you do now is merge down or flatten image and now he can put it onto Facebook and show how well he's been doing at the gym so thanks for watching and that's just a little one on uh, on iWarp